Hey everybody, my name is Lauren Daigle and welcome to the show. I am so excited that you are here with us on the Lauren Daigle World Tour. Okay, so here's the deal. The show is full of a lot of fun and after each night so far, what we have found is that this show offers a world of emotions. There's gonna be a point in the show when you're laughing and having a really good time. There might be a point in the show when you're crying. There might be a point in the show when you're nostalgic. We're gonna throw in some throwback songs. And my hope for the show is just genuinely that you feel the love of God, that you feel the hope of the world coming and sitting with you in whatever environment that you're in, and that tonight's just a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here's the deal. An hour before the show, this is what my routine looks like. Typically, we do our little countdown clock starting at seven. I go on kind of around 8.30, that's the plan. Never works out, I go on about 8.40. Um, but at 7 p.m., I jump on with my, on FaceTime with my vocal coach. And so we'll work for, we have found that at the 35 minute mark is when my voice opens up, warms up, that's when I'm like, ready, good to go. And then I might grab a bite to eat. My dressing room is with my uh, BGVs and also with some of my friends that travel on the road with me because we're just great friends and I love the community. Typically, I throw on the makeup um, around 8, 10 <laughs> is when that starts. And then we roll into our band doing a prayer together before we jump on stage. As we approach the stage, um, there's a curtain that's down. You can't see us, but I can see you. I always give a fist pump to whoever is standing right before I round the curtains. And a lot of times I'll either stretch or I'll make really funny faces to the band the whole time. Like I'll do this or I'll do uh, that or I'll like jump around a lot. Some of the, the band members will start dancing and then we'll all just kind of go around in a circle and dance. It's kind of this cocoon moment where the whole band gets to experience the joy of getting to do yet again another show. Oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, I know you Let me talk about some of my absolute favorite moments in the show. One, I love uh, whenever it goes from projection at the top of the show to the band being revealed. That is one of my absolute favorite moments. I love the choreography, I love the colors, I love the instrumentation, what the band is playing. That is one of my favorite moments of the show. There's so much adrenaline that happens. There's so much joy that happens. I just want to celebrate every night. I remember saying, how do we get confetti into a show? And we ended up writing a song called Come Back Home. And I was being sarcastic with my team. I was kind of like, is this the song where we get to shoot off confetti? They were like, yeah, we could do confetti. And I was like, wait, that could actually be a reality. So we changed that to include confetti, which is one of my absolute favorite moments because all the kids dance. It's the cutest thing. We also sing Rescue. People typically, you know, pull out their phones and you see the power of a song interacting with an audience. You see where God has met people in maybe one of the most painful of moments, maybe one of the most fearful of moments. It's one of the moments that I look forward to each night just to see okay, God did it for them, God did it for them, God did it for them, and now it's this collective communal experience that's really beautiful. I love singing that song. I love it so much. Y'all ready to have a little fun tonight? Come on, let's... I remember I saw Taylor Swift's 1989 tour in this arena, and she had light up bracelets, and I remember thinking, Man, God, that would be so cool. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do something like that, but that would just be really special. And 
and tonight is the actual night that we get to use the light up bracelets in the exact same arena that I saw it in, which is really special. It was like a, a full circle moment. So I hope you enjoy that. That is a special touch and I can't wait to see what it looks like. And then rolling through, we go back to the classics and do some worship. And from a production standpoint, there's a halo that comes down. And in rehearsals, we would tell the band, don't panic, it's not going to hit you, don't panic. It looks like you're gonna be able to touch it. And I bet if Jared stood on his drum kit, he could probably touch it, but it's massive. And that's probably my favorite moment because it makes everybody still and acknowledge why we're really here and what the purpose of every night is. How can it be? Then we typically do our move on up moment and Ain't No Mountain High Enough in the colors. I went to the production designer, I said, can we please do rainbows for this part? Because it's just so vibrant and so alive and I love rainbows. I'm wearing them on my shoes right here because they just represent the promises of God. And I moved to Nashville when I was 21 and I said, God, if this is something that you have in store for me, I need to see a rainbow by the end of the day. And I walked outside. It was a sunny day. It rained for five minutes and a rainbow came out. And I ended up moving to Nashville and began everything that you get to see here. Something beautiful. And we end on one of my favorite looks of the entire night. It's this soft pink uh, in the ribbing of the stage. And we typically sing an old song together, the entire audience. And it's just one of my favorite ways to end. Oh, you say I love. When I think I <laughs> so the path to unwinding, I feel like is a little bit different every night. We typically laugh because I'm always the last person out of the venue. Like, even all the crew guys that are tearing down the set every night, I will still get out of the venue after them. It has been something that I've done my entire career and I don't know why. I don't want to be that person. But I think I just get so much excitement seeing the band and seeing the crew and seeing everybody uh, finish the day together versus rushing out and not getting the kind of closure after every show. I told myself at the start of this tour, just be in bed by 1 a.m., then you'll be just fine. I just can't do it. That process of coming off of stage to the time I'm going to sleep is roughly four hours. Take in everything, savor what tonight was, and then rest. I do my best, but I'm not the greatest at it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of tonight. If there's anything that I have seen in the course of this tour, it is God's redemption. I used to get hoarse every night after the shows because my body just freaked out. I said, God, I need you. I need a miracle for the course of this tour. Please let my voice just do what it's supposed to. And it doesn't matter what condition I step on the stage with, he always comes through. And I've seen his fingerprints on this tour in beautiful ways, in powerful ways, every single night. You might be seeing something else. It might be uh, the longing of a loved one to come to know the Lord. It might be uh, a diagnosis that you didn't expect. It could be anything that you're just needing to see God intervene. I promise He is the God of hope. He is the way, the truth, the life. If you're in a season of sorrow, if you're in a season of loneliness, if you're in a season of depression, hang tight. There is the hope of glory. He's coming and it's all gonna be okay. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you out on the road sometime soon when I finish the next record.